Welcome back to the Property Management System tutorial series. In this video, we'll take the very first step towards building our system, setting up the environment. I'll walk you through how to prepare your development workspace and create a custom user that we'll use throughout this project. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer, this setup will ensure you have everything ready to start building the module smoothly. Let's get started. First, I will create an application. I will name the application Property Management. Next, I will create the application. I created the application, now the application needs a user to log in. Now I will create a custom user and log in to the application. For that, I need to follow a few steps. We can see a table named PM's users. In this table, we can store our users, and we will log into our application using these users. I'm now creating this table. Now I need to create a package, because this table won't directly work for authentication. So, I'm creating this package. Next, I will create the body for this package. The package creation is complete. Now I need to create some global items in the application. For that, I'll go to shared components of the application. Then I'll go to application items and click create. Now I will map the global items from the package to application items. After that, I will go back to the login page. On the login page, I need to add an item for company. So that our application can support multiple companies. By default, there's already a login process on the login page. So we need to either modify that process or replace it with our custom process. Here, we'll use a custom pl slash SQL block. Let me now explain the code to you. Package underscore cust underscore auth dot process underscore login. This is a procedure named process underscore login inside a pl slash SQL package, which is used to validate user login. p9999 underscore username the username taken from the Apex login form. P9999 underscore password the password taken from the Apex login form. NVLP9999 underscore company 0, if no company ID is provided, 0 will be used as the default. App underscore ID the Apex application ID, usually used for logging or authorization checks. Now I'll save the process and run it. Since I'm using a custom table for login, I need to insert a user into the table. So I'll go to the object browser, and inside the PM users table, I'll create a user. I'm creating a user named admin and setting the password as 123. Now I will log in using this user and select one as the company. We can see the application has logged in successfully. Now I'll check whether data has been loaded into the global items. To check that, I'll click on session, then go to view session state. And switch from page items to application items. We can see the three items I added are now populated with data. This data is fetched during the login process. That's all for today. See you in the next video.
Thank you.